hello and welcome friends in the today's uh, core java tutorial today we are back again with another uh, java interview program that is uh, uh, program is write a program to return a sorted array from uh, to unsorted arrays in a descending order in interviews uh, interviewer will ask you to write a code to the code that is uh, uh, that is uh, it will uh, taking a uh, two different different array with a uh, different length and uh, it will uh, uh, merge this array with a uh, descending order so if you as usual you have to write this code with a very efficient way and then only you can uh, crack the interviews uh, so today we are uh, going to learn how to we solve this uh, program so let's do it first uh, you need to think yourself if you are uh, not getting any hint then you you can come here and watch this video so let's do it so i am created a one class here merge and sort so inside this class we need to write a main method so i have written here a main method so let's uh, declare it to arrays and array of a equal to assume i am creating here one array that is uh, 2 5 4 8 1 33 5 okay another array that is b r uh, equal to let us assume 77 5 3 8 3 2 1 9 8 i have declared here two arrays so we need to uh, store this array in a third array with uh, um, descending order so i need to create a third array mm, which length is uh, uh, this int a array and int b array addition of these two lengths we need to create a third array so let's create it first array of c equal to new int of a dot length plus b dot length so i am creating here a third array with the length of uh, the uh, these two arrays means 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 30 40 15 and 16 so size of this uh, c array will be a 16 so let's uh, write uh, one uh, for loop to first uh, we need to store uh, the elements of a and b inside this c and uh, then we are uh, sorting this uh, c array so let's uh, first uh, um, copy the elements of e inside uh, elements of a inside a b so writing a one for loop here int i equal to zero i less than a dot length and i plus plus so i am copying the elements of a inside elements of c so we have done here and uh, let's print the uh, c so i am printing here array let's execute and see the it will copying or not yes it will copying a uh, array of a inside array of c and uh, um, remaining all the index by default it, it will initialize to zero so now i need to catch this index value and uh, then i am i want to store this b array uh, um, from this uh, 
this index so how can I you get how can we get this index so let uh, me declare one count variable so int count equal to zero and I am incrementing this count here okay now let's print the count also and let's execute this code so I am getting the index of mm, this 0 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7th index so now I am starting crop starting a copying array uh, by 7th index so let me write one code for int i equal to counts so i am i equal to count sorry so now my arc uh, uh, i will be a seven and uh, i am starting from this now i uh, i have to declare again a one uh, variable mm, that is for uh, uh, counting this b uh, so we are uh, starting from here zeroth index so let's declare one j equal to zero here and condition will be a uh, 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 up to c dot length we are uh, iterating on uh, this for loop with uh, with respect to this length uh, final length so let's i less than less than C dot length okay and now we have to increment i and j also so here now I am copying inside C of i equal to b of j now again I am printing this array C array and let's see it will copy all the elements or not it's uh, now yes we can see here the copy of the um, merging of the array it successfully given to us now we have to sort this uh, array so let's write a simple logic here to sort this array so for I need to declare one temp variable okay mm. let's write one for loop to traversing this array length and I plus plus inside for again I am writing one for loop j less than c dot length minus one j plus plus here I am writing a swapping logic sorry first I need to give a condition here if c of c of i greater than or equal to c of j Up and let's print the our final array.
okay and now let's execute this code and yes it will successfully give you a descending order with merging these two arrays so this is all from this video uh, if you have any questions uh, that you have uh, got in your interview so let me know in the comment section uh, then i will be uh, making a videos on those questions and uh, if you like this video uh, please uh, hit the like button and uh, subscribe uh, my channel to for more videos uh, and if you have any questions uh, write below in the comment section thanks for watching